Uh, my name is Clark Orr. I am a co-founder of Hellcats Inc., uh, specifically the designer. I am Brittany Reagan. I am one of the co-founders of Hellcats Inc. Basically, we make and sell fun accessories, gifts, paper goods that have kind of a tough but fun edge to it. There's kind of stereotype of if you're dark and into the macabre or whatever that you're probably cynical or angsty. I've always liked the aesthetic of tough things, hardcore and punk and metal, and I've never been, you know, threatening. I've never been, you know, a negative person, a cynical person. So my lens through toughness is all through aesthetic. Before we started Hellcats, I would get asked to set up at, at comic book conventions and um, design conferences and stuff. And every time I, I'd go to them, I'd, I'd mainly be selling posters, silkscreen posters that I would make. And people would always ask me for certain things. So I set up at a comic book convention one year and everyone that stopped by the booth was like, oh, you need to make a Doctor Who poster. I don't, I don't care about Doctor Who. I don't really, you know, whatever. So I, I bent the next year, I was like, I'm gonna make a Doctor Who poster. That's what people want, like, I'll, I'll give that to them. I'll make some dough, you know, along the way. I, it was a three color, three or four color screen printed poster. I, sp I printed a hundred of those things. Like, it cost a lot of money, cost two days of printing. Um, took them to the convention, which is three days long. I didn't sell one of them. And that was the moment when I was like, this is stupid. I'm not going to do something for someone else, even if it's going to make me money. I'd rather make a product that's honest and true to us and, and something that we want and it not sell at all than like sell something that's dumb and doesn't make sense to, to what we want and then, um, you know, sell out of that product. Like it, it's, it's not a beneficial thing and doesn't add to the longevity of the brand, you know. So I felt pretty comfortable running my own business and selling vintage, which eventually transitioned into making my own clothing that I was selling. As time went by, we're like, hey, we're both creative people. It makes sense just, you know, to collaborate on something. With that, we kept coming up more and more ideas, and it just made sense to create a business around that. And Hellcats was born. so many challenges that do come with it with being a female that Clark has been a designer for so long and has a really big following and a lot of respect and then you know I'm you know his little wife that works with him and I think a lot of people don't understand what input I have in it and I feel a lot of uh, pride in making sure people know what I do and that I'm not just you know living in my husband's shadow and it's a huge frustration when we get emails that start with like, hey Clark, or like, hey man. I just take a lot of pride in signing it, my name at the end. So when they read it, they're like, oh, I'm talking to a woman. I'm not, I shouldn't have just assumed I'm immediately talking to a man. Having Brittany there to help push me and to say, hey, this is a good idea. We need to keep moving forward and not getting hung up on, on you know, minutia or some detail that isn't, isn't that important. So our personalities work really well together. I'm an overthinker, she's a striver, she's really driven and wants to knock things out. So I think that paired together is definitely helpful. I was worried if I were to critique seeing one of his designs if he would get annoyed and he was so easygoing and would take all my opinions and which is great and I think we're both patient with each other and we know each other so well that it's really been really easy. I think we're lucky. For me it just took being able to, to look at everything as a whole and not saying like everything has to be 100%, maybe 95% is good, maybe or 80% is good, whatever. But as long as everything is, is honest and true to us is, is really the test. We really work together to make it look like both of us, not just like, oh, this is all Clark stuff now. And so being able to like um, look at that, that whole row of all our products um, and say, yeah, I back that, like that's real success. 
you know, if it sells on the other hand, that's, you know, that's another thing. Luckily, it's working out that way, but it's definitely evolved from, you know, making money and being able to sustain a business. Now it's more um, the integrity end of that is having something that's true to ourselves and, and that we're not selling out or feeling like we're just making something to sell it, you know.